Did he steal them all actually? Oh my. What is up guys and welcome to the Beyond Slender channel. My name is Shanks and today we continue with the 2v2 tournament in BFME 1 on the page 2.22 on the beautiful map Vault. Our first matchup is going to be Gondor Aizen versus Mordor Aizen. I like that one. I like it. I mean, Mordor is a beast from the east actually on a map like Vault which has plenty of settlements and for that reason we need to be very fast in defeating our opponents, okay? That's the strategy. I have an attack plan. This plan is called attack. Whoa! And also Gondor Aizen is not too shabby, but remember, the fell beast or any flying creature is more impactful on bigger maps. Because bigger maps you need to have horses and horses can't do anything against an Asgul. Okay, so I wanna capture this one and I wanna put pressure from the minute one, okay? In those situations, it's better to pick a target and kinda commit to the target non stop in, instead of attacking both of them simultaneously. Because when you split your force, your strength, uh, you won't be able to deal significant amount of damage to your opponent and they can sustain with additional lumber mills and also with additional resources, you know? And remember, these are evil factions, so they are pretty strong. So here, we focus the top guy and try to deal as much damage to him as we potentially can. Oh, Orcs and Gollum, Smeagol. We can fight this a little bit. Always switch formation when you are fighting, because that will reduce the incoming damage. And whenever he's using I like this, we can keep moving and pick up the Alvin wood from the spellbook and put it on. And with the Alvin wood, we have additional armor, but we actually took a lot of damage with the soldiers. That's kind of unfortunate. But my ally should be war chanting all, all of us together. And now we have even more armor and damage leadership. Okay. So I want to use the Hobbit to defend my ally settlement. That's very important in teamwork, you know. Hobbit pretty good against. Orcs and also Uruks. And now I want to save up for the Steeble. We can fight this a little bit, no problemo. My opponent uh, taking over the map at the bottom side. That's the downside if you focus on one guy. But trust me on that one, it's better to kind of, you know, downplay Mordor in those situations. Because Mordor is much scarier to deal with compared to Aizen. Aizen can pick, make pikemen, but pikemen can't fly at least, you know what I mean? Actually, very smart move from this Mordor to go for the Orc Archers. Very smart move. Very smart move. Dude, that's actually big brain. I mean, I gotta give him that one, you know? The Orc Archers saving him the day there. I would have destroyed this Lumber Mill, got almost level 2, got Wood got level 2. And he would lose everything. Look, my Hobbit is going on like crazy. And the stable is almost up. So, we have only 3 farms outside, you know what I mean? And we have also two farms inside, so we have almost the maximum food bonus for the cheapest possible Knights of Gondor. And my Hobbit should be able to clear this, and my, my ally can retake the settlement with his worker. But I think he's not paying attention. Oh, never mind. Of course he's not paying attention. Let's kill this first, and then we go. Level 3 Hobbit is gonna hit like a truck. And I might need to use my first Knight of Gondor to defend my ally's peace. But I think the furnaces are actually quite durable. And uh, he should be fine because the opponent has no war chant. Okay. The problem here, what we have right now, guys, is that the Aizen at the bottom left side, our opponent, has untouched eco. And I think he has like, what, four, five, six lumber mills? He will have eventually a full base by now. And have like crazy eco, right? That's the problem. And now I think we need to switch the target. We know that Mordor is kind of out of the game for a bit, and we will not we will not expect anytime soon a Nazgul. And even if you go for trolls, trolls are not able to catch up to the Knights of Gondor. And I think we kind of damaged him that much that he won't be able to rush the Nazgul before we are ready to rush his castle. So what I like to do here is I like to creep. That's gonna make my Knights of Gondor way stronger. But you need to find like a sweet point of creeping, but also at the same time putting pressure. So creeping is here very beneficial. Oh, hopefully he has Warchant. Use Warchant me. 
Nice. That's gonna be a lot. Dude, don't move this way. Okay, move this way. Boom. Power points are rising to the sky, and that's crucial because that will give us the chance to later on summon the great company, the Rangers, which are going to counter the pikemen of Aizen, okay? So let's kill the Uruks first. Never go for a 50-50 situation unless you have to. And when you can kill the units, always kill the units first. So now he has no chance to take in the creep or the money. That's the that's the thing, you know. Oh, can I go for the trample here? Trample, but I have no warchan on these horses. So I think maybe not overcommitting. Can I get the money? Get the money, go back, go back, go back, go back. Oh nice. Okay. Let's destroy this lumber mill. Okay, we have good money now. Orcs. Oh, don't go back there, my friend. Okay. Go back to the castle, man. <laughs> you are way too risky to me. You're playing way too risky. Oh, this level 2 orcs actually slaughtering me. We need to go back to the castle also with this one. Let's go to the well. But we have the shields almost up, okay? And we have almost the power points also we need for the great company. That's very good. Remember, my ally has war chant. And it also will make, it, make my great company deal 50% more damage. And with this 50% increased damage buff, my great company can one-shot the enemy pikemen. If you don't, if you know you can't kill the lumber mill, it's always beneficial to actually kill the lumber mill workers. And that, that will kind of force your opponent to actually have to remake them. And each of them costs 25, so he needs to make like, what, six? And it's like almost as much as remaking the lumber mill, you know? Oh, he has too many pikemen, dude. Can I get away from this? <laughs> nice micro there. Okay, let's put like waypoints and Lourdes is also on the field. I want to creep this actually and get to level 3. Let's creep all of this area. We capture this settlement. And I want to have like two full health recovered Knights of Condor. That's very important. Like rushing the castle of any player with only one Knight of Condor is not going to be very rewarding. And unfortunately, Mordor was able to capture the settlement, but it is what it is. There are actually so many creeps still remaining on the field. Okay, we have actually almost four power points. Three of them will be definitely invested into the Great Company. But then, if we have four, we can also unlock the heal from the spellbook. Looks like my ally is actually trying to rush him. I want to join him. He's like Uruk's there with Forge Bleeds at the bottom side. Beautiful. Okay, look at this. Let's group all together and then we can rush with three Knights of Gondor. And during the rush, I will definitely get the missing power point to heal. Okay? But he has no armor on his Uruks yet. And the Lord is kind of crushing him. Let's use this actually to, you know, clean the set settlements. I don't want Mordor to get too much money. But I think it's now hard to stop him from snowballing. And hopefully he will have not an Asgul. If he has an Asgul, this rush will be a nightmare. Warchant? Good. Okay, he missed one of my knights, but it's okay. Okay, now this rush has to be successful. His pikemen. Always hook the pikemen with your great company. Heal. Boom. Go back there. Okay. He has war riders. Are you kidding me? Towers first. They give the most power points if he doesn't demolish them. Oh, he has throws already. Kill this troll, man. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Nice. We actually destroyed the Orphan too. That's a lot of damage dealt. And now I want to go for the Uruk Pit. If I can destroy the Uruk Pit, that means no more Pikemen anytime soon. We also end up killing the troll anyway with the Great Company. You see the Warchan power right there? And unfortunately, he will get one more Pikeman, but it's okay. But because the Uruk Pit has been destroyed. Now I want to kill the remaining Pikeman. And we're actually getting so many power points. And this Lord is 1 HP. I can kill him. Recapture some settlements. Multitasking. Very important. Macro on a map like this. The bigger the map is, the more important the macro is. Macro is always important, but not that much on small maps like, for example, Anurian. But in Vault, it's important. Bad trample there. Four Feolingas. 
Go for the structural damage, use the knights to destroy the lumber mill, make this Isengard as poor as he potentially can. And he can't have more units anytime soon, you know? That's the beautiful part. And because Mordor is going for the trolls, we don't need to be scared or worried about any upcoming Nazgul anytime soon. Run! Please don't lose the level. Ah, rest in peace. Oh, what is this? Okay. I'm going to just build some towers. I wanted to rush for Nazgul, uh, for Gandalf, but it's okay. I can tower up this, no problem. There is only one troll, and he will not, without leadership, he can't really destroy my wall that fast. Destroy this remaining. Okay, just go for the structures, you know? Okay, this... Is he gonna die? He's eating. Oh, he's dead. Okay, <laughs> there was a very questionable interaction, not gonna lie. My ally is a combo there. Looks like the castle is gonna be defeated or destroyed. I don't know if the Eisen has like an outpost remaining. If he doesn't, this game is over. Like, not over, but one of the players will be defeated and it's gonna turn into a 2v1 situation. Kill the troll first, man. And you can't win a 2v2, a 2v1. Okay, nice. Just destroy this Orphan before it builds up, Before, because if it builds up, he will have the chance to rebuild his castle before it gets destroyed. Nice, Ooh. Amazing. Amazing. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, GG is gonna be called. That's gonna be one player down. And also his ally calling it GG. Ericsson and CEO will be defeated in the first game. Ghost. I mean, there are so many creeps still remaining, actually. Holy. Okay, GG. Well played, guys. We still got it. And we're gonna be jumping into the game numero secondo. Game number two. This time on the map East Emnet. I personally dislike this map a lot, actually. I don't like this map at all. But maybe we can make it work. The matchup is going to be their Gondor Eisen against our Rohan Eisen. And I believe, even though I'm not very experienced on this map, I'm playing this game for many years, but I haven't, maybe I maybe have played in total like 10 games on this map in my entire BFME uh, I, I, like life, you know. But I'm pretty certain that Kev is not very good here. Even though I'm a big fan of horses, even on small maps, because they can give you the tempo advantage, you know. And then you can harass the enemy economy, force them to make Mike Pikeman and stuff. Get ready. Quickly. Together, my okay, they are passing through each other. That's okay. We can join our ally with the two peasants and then we can get war chanted all together. And Hobbit can be used to defend our ally. And I don't know what my plan is. Maybe I can go for the Gimli, you know. But maybe I can do something else. The question is, will he use war, uh, Alvin Wood here? He will use Alvin Wood, but it's okay. We can just go around the Alvin Wood. If we leave the Alvin Wood, we have our leadership back in the business, okay? Now we can fight them. And even though soldiers, naturally speaking, are way stronger compared to peasants, but that's not being the case anymore. If the peasants got the buff of the war chant, okay. Oh, what is this? Actually, they are going in. Let's use one of the peasants to support our ally and don't fight on the Alvin Wood. I'm gonna go for the stable next. I'm not spamming too many peasants because I rather have fast horses in this scenario. Because it looks like this Gondor is spamming soldiers. Because there is a soldier attacking my farm. So against infantry, it's good to have horses, you know? I want to see if the level 2, if I can. Let's kill the Uruks first, because they are able to outrun us. Now we can disengage with the level 2. He even cloaked the Hobbit there. That's so annoying, actually. That's so annoying. So for me personally, Hobbit is one of the most cost-efficient heroes in the game. You know, you can... I can't understand a reason why players, some players, actually refuse to recruit the Hobbit. The amount of impact a Hobbit has 
for only 100 resources is actually actually kind of nutty you know <laughs> it's like crazy strong you can cloak he can give you vision you can put him anywhere on the map you can put on the cloak your opponent doesn't know where you are you have great vision on your opponent you can block settlements you can crush early game units with your rocks you can creep goblin layers with him solo like what else do you expect from a hobbit from a hero that only costs you 100 nice we destroyed this that's good but we are losing the <laughs> remaining settlements we will have actually very expensive rohirrim unfortunately but it's okay they queued up two of them and this rohan uh, gondor is actually spamming you know gondor soldiers but luckily our rohirrim will smash them on the ground hit boom they are also getting lots of power points here that's very good Ah, he's gonna die he's gonna die can i cloak him can i save him no you killed my hobbit like this i will destroy your life water nice okay trample time level two immediately okay beautiful beautiful actually amazing we can even creep now with him look i didn't even know until i saw that there is a creep but we are learning every day something new now we have a couple of options here i don't know what the right call is actually but i want to go for heroes i actually guys okay maybe i will oh because he's pi pikeman and remember the gondor player oh they were so unlucky the gondor player also went for the barracks and i'm pretty certain he will also recruit tower guards so there are gonna be two big counters to my rohirrim and I refuse to make Rohirrim against two hard counters. Look, I told you, Tower Guards standing by. So we need to be kind of smart. Like, we have a couple of options here. We can go for Gimli. But I'd rather go for Legolas. Like a safe pick, long range, great poke. And with levels on him, he will actually slaughter pikemen and also heroes. And I believe that my peasants can actually one me one the tower guards also. But still harassing is very good. Offense is the best defense in most situations. Finally destroy the farm next to my castle. But remember there is a hidden hobbit. So we can't recapture this. But there is... Oh, okay, thank you very much. You reveal your hobbit like this? Nice. Now I, now I can reclaim my settlement after killing your hobbit die hobbit you fall off a took that was a big mistake actually peregrine took Gandalf was right all along with you now i want to creep the troll in the middle so i will i mean you obviously know hopefully by now how to do this but just in case you don't just watch and learn go back there peasants you can use one of them to lure the troll away you can't do this the same way like Gondor can, because Gondor can just lure the troll to his own castle after creeping the lair. But remember, that's only possible because Gondor's citadel in the castle can actually shoot. Rohan's can't. But fortunately, that's a 2v2 matchup, and my ally is Aizen, so I can bring the troll to my Isengard ally. He gets to kill him with the towers, and he will also get power points from it. And now, we recruit the Prince of the Midwood Elves, okay? We have almost the power points also for the Alvin Wood, which I'm gonna go for, just to be able to cover the enemy land, if needed later on. Trample time! Nah, he's paying attention. I'm pretty certain that this Eisen is actually pretty poor, you know. This Eisen opponent, like, he's pretty much playing without any settlement outside <laughs> the entire game. My ally, on the other hand, is actually pretty rich. He has double outposts with triple furnaces on each of them. So he has like six extra furnaces plus the furnaces he has in the castle. I wish I could get this outpost there, you know. This outpost, my ally going for the Lourdes. And with this outpost, I can make like a statue and well. The combination of good and evil is just like very good, you know. Very good. Can I avoid those pikemen, tower guard, uh, you know, tower guard, soldier combo. Very, very dangerous combo. And I want to claim this outpost for myself. 
we can also make like three fa uh, three farms there you know just to make sure that our eco is gonna be good later on also i will use the knife fighter to creep this i think it's way faster with the knife do this and creep this like this and then we can get this one later on we will also get grand harvest on our farms because we, we are going for the late game situation my ally also going for the late game as you can see and tell and um in the mid to late game what's important is um the outpost control okay outpost control is very important you will have much more money resources compared to your opponents and also oh he's demolishing this nice i can take this actually it's only possible in 2.2 by the way in uh, any other patch you can't demolish your citadel here you can move there man i want to take it now i hope my legolas is level 3 actually that's very good too each level making him way stronger now i want to go for the upgrades we'll get to recruit more rohirrim to get the uh, stable to level 2 then i will have the chance to buy the horseman shields you know all that good stuff be careful lords lords be careful okay <laughs> cripple dude this army is actually very strong from my opponent but my lego maybe can do something Choo! oh he healed okay are they gonna commit to this really um okay let's kill faramir against upgraded and buffed units you don't you want to focus with your legolas the heroes okay or you want to focus the things you can kill fast okay be beautiful we killed him now we need to dodge Boromi before he can knock us down on the ground it looks like because of saruman the enemy will be forced to disengage fireball boom chakalaka amazing it's a very awkward situation because of the enemy land there they have like crazy leadership but it's okay we have the wizard my ally went for saruman rush but he will have upgrades very soon i'm hoping and i can give him like theodin i can give him like aragon later on with like legolas for additional dps against the heroes so it should be pretty good be careful there okay nice what we could do is actually go for the end mood instead of the armory and try to siege the gondor but i want to have fun this game okay <laughs> i want to have fun this game okay like, guys we guys we gotta we gotta make a deal okay if my legolas can use arrowwind and for that reason he needs to be level seven if he can get him to this point you know the deal right you gotta sub to the channel and also leave a like it's gonna be a big hoax right there by the way it's gonna be a big one let's destroy this remaining farm from gondor we need to make him poor gondor more than more like four door a poor door okay <laughs> demolish this so i can use my ability oh okay almost killed the full battalion almost but i wanted to get more experience with my legolas okay it is what it is it is what it is if now Theodin King, we need to recruit two more Rohirrim. In total, you need four of them for the stable tweet level two. I, I want to lose my... I don't care about my peasants, but I don't want to feed them. I can sell them later on. That's what I can do. Everything... Oh, be careful there, man. Is, is he going to use warning arrow? Yes, but he's not going to kill him. We can we don't need to heal him either we can just send him back to the well and you see the importance of the outpost here without because you don't have to walk all the way back to the castle we are here to and on harvest time are we gonna be so rich this game holy we have great amount of map control with our outpost that's gonna be very strong very very strong gonna spam some rohirrim even though rohirrim won't be able to fight against enemy army they have too many pikemen and stuff but we can go for the structural damage that's the plan over here and maybe somehow we luckily will get our tier into level 4 too you know level 2 horseman shields beautiful okay now we can go ham now we can go crazily strong ham i want to level up those combos theodine king shall rise one once more when my ally should be able to do whatever he wants he can do whatever he pleases okay he has like the economy of bill gates or Elon Musk in the situation like economical advantage and money 
like crazy, okay? Horseman shields very important um, for the arrow resistance. So we take way less arrow damage against towers. It's crucial. But I'm kind of running out of money. My ally is going for the siege at the outpost. It's good. Uh, we can actually kind of rush or kind of pressure two castles at once. Otherwise, they can just like turtle into one castle, which will be hard to break through. And opening like a second option is always good. But there is also a Sarima, man. My Legolas can hurt him, though. He's level 4. What my ally Sarima should be doing, he should be always fireballing the enemy Sarima. Very important. It will knock him down, but it will damage him heavily. And he can't go for a crazy play with the Warm Tongue. Like, I think, realistically speaking, the Warm Tongue is the only chance they can defend this. With, like, so much leadership over here. So many, so many tower guards, man. Destroy and go back. Destroy and go back. Too many pikemen. Don't go in. Don't go in. Go back, go back, go back, go back. Dude, I'm running. I'm microing so bad. Did he steal them all, actually? Oh my god, he stole all my all the combos from my ally. He stole them all. He stole them all, man. How? This is super tilting. We're gonna be losing this hardcore. My Legolas got one shotted. Are you kidding me? Why did I not respawn a sing another battalion? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. What a big throw. I lost everything besides one horse too. I don't know, man. What a big loss for us. Oh, man. And the Saruman didn't even die. At least we are pressuring the castle from Gondor, you know? That's, like, the good thing about the situation. But it's gonna be also hard. They have, like, towers and trebuchet on top of the wall. Spear throw him. And it doesn't even hurt him. I can't even go. There's even a Gandalf. Oh my god. Oh boy. And we lost everything, man. We lost literally everything. I'm panicking now. Can we do something? I don't know, man. I really don't know. Dude. Let's give him Anduril at least. Nah, nah, nah. The problem is he also broke only one part of the wall, and I'm pretty certain that this Gondor will be able to repair this, no problemo. It's only one part. That's why when you siege a good faction like Gondor or Rohan, you want to always break at least two, up to three parts of the wall. It's going to deal like heavy economical siege damage, and he will be kind of having a rough time to rebuild. Cripple him! Cripple him! Okay, nice. That's a big cripple. I want to put my heroes next to the combos. Okay, that's a big mistake from them. Maybe we can get to share experience with my heroes. Maybe Eoma in a dream world, Eoma can get the last hit. In a dream world, Eoma can get the last hit. Is he going to heal? Uh, he's not healing. Please, Theoring, share experience or Eoma. Nice. Theoring got experience. That's massive, actually. We got two and a half levels from that one. That's amazing. That's why you always put your heroes next to your allies' combo. So, which... Oh, be careful, Elma! That's gonna be a big hoax, right, though. Go, 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 go. Let's change the subject. Nothing happened. My Elma didn't int for no reason. Big hoax, right? Watch this, guys. It's gonna hurt them. Be careful there, horses. Big hit. Level 5. Dude, you see, against immobile infantry units, the best counter is any hero that is outranging them and outrunning them, okay? But I'm gonna go for the Rohirrah matches eventually. We need some hero damage. Legolas all alone can't handle this, handle this situation, but we get here lots of experience. But in the meantime, they are rotating to the outpost. We need to return. And again, like expected, Gondor is uh, repairing the wall, so we can't get inside there. We need to kind of find a solution to kill the enemy enemy Saruman. And there is also, there are like four targets. Paramir, Boromir, 
destroyed us. We should be able to defend this, I think. We have, like, lots of leadership here, right? We have, like, crazy amount of leadership. They have Tyrion, Aragorn, and also Warchant. Let's go. We can trample this, maybe. Not sure. I want to go for a Saruman kill. Good cripple from my ally. Maybe I can get Glorious Charge. But there are too many pikemen, though. They have also crazy armor leadership. Nice. We killed him. Level 7. Unlocked. Amazing. My Legolas got the final kill. And we gotta... We know it won't hurt them. We need to keep... Oh, my. I didn't pay attention to my Legolas. The Faramir wanting arrow. They have even the Four Gondor ability, man. My Theoden can't get experience for whatever reason. Like, needs only half a level for the Glorious Charge. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Holy moly. Okay, four. 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 All right, nice. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's recruit three Yeoman Archers to put them inside the Citadel. Oh, Aragorn, Aragorn. You need to use Blade Mast and run away. Run away. Run for your life, Aragorn. I didn't pay attention. Dude, I'm playing so bad this game. So bad this game. My Legolas. No. <laughs> no. You want to fight? Okay, never mind. He's... I could just one shot, like not one shot, but three hits is all it takes. So Aragorn with Anduril plus Blade Master, nobody can one v one him. He's the king after all. You know what I mean? The king of the west, the king of the north, <laughs> the king of the north. Game of Thrones, dude. What a fantastic series, but what a poor ending. What a poor ending. That's the problem because nobody. The problem is. There are so many great episodes in Game of Thrones, but because they mess up the finals so much, people, when they will talk about it, they will always remember the bad stuff about it, you know? It's how human brain works. They always think about the bad stuff. Okay, now we need to be very strong. I think we are very strong with the Glorious Charge. I will also put Eoma with them and trample with Eoma. Hoping that Eoma will get enough, enough experience to get level 4. That's going to be a crucial demon leadership unlocked. Oh, my ally is using the rain too. Now, but they have so many pikemen. I don't know about that one. They have so many pikemen, but I'm going for it. I'm going for it. Nobody dies, by the way. No. Also, enemy use rain. That's why. That's why. Good. I lost all my horses. I lost all my horses. All my horses. Cripple this Gandalf, man. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. My ally has, like, crazy amount of combos even at the outpost. We have no leadership, though. That's the problem. Kill, cripple, do something. No, 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 no. Aragorn, hit him, hit him. Aragorn, stop dancing around. Theodin. Theodin. I have no heal. Atelas him. No, I can't. I have no Atelas. Legolas, be careful. Dude, my micro is so bad. But maybe can Gimli can change something. I don't know why we didn't cripple him at the first place. The wizard has to be your primary target. Any wizard, actually. I don't care. You can also cripple Saruman. But I believe this Gondor got so many power points from this battle. But luckily, we have another big army. Legolas can't join, though. He's very low. I don't want to go for the end summon. Maybe I will have to. Maybe I will have to. With the ends, I can actually open like a wall. Um, open like a um, entrance for the Gondor castle. But realistically speaking, Legolas. Hit him. Hit him, Legolas. Ooh, what a hit. I want to kill him so badly. Kill the Eagles first. Or kill Ganda first. Who cares? Can I use Atelas to save him? Atelas? Atelas? Atelas now, Atelas now. Nah, I couldn't. Dude, kill the eagles, please, man. Holy moly, what are you doing? Just kill the eagles. Stop attacking Boromir, bro. This eagle killing everything. I need to use extra to kill him, man. Lost Theorian for no reason. But I think we can finish now the castle. Now we have still army over here. Nice, level 2 Elma, that's beautiful. Getting more and more experience. What a fiesta game. And Eddie's will be defeated. That's good. I have like fed so many power points. I don't know how close the Gondor. He just killed like again lots of stuff with the with the Eagles. I'm not, I'm not sure about how many power points he needs for the EOD. But we have money though. That's that's the good thing, right? We don't need to be worried about that one actually. We have like lots of level 3. Nice, beautiful. Eisen left. 
But then you leave the game, is that when you don't get defeated, guys, I will tell you one thing. When you leave the game before you get defeated, all your remaining resources, your heroes, your army, but also your command points will be transferred to your ally. And because you are evil, <laughs> your ally will also get lots of command points. Now this Gondor is like what? 600 command points in total because he has 200 himself and 400 he got from his ally. So he's like 600 command points and potentially lots of money too, right? I want to buy this castle. I have money to, to do that. Why not, you know? It's not a free-for-all. In free-for-all, it's against gentlemen's agreement to buy a second castle, but in a 2v2 matchup, you can. Again, breaking multiple parts of the wall. That's good. Uh, I want to destroy the other part. I want to destroy this part, actually, because there's a trebuchet expansion. Let's go for double well and multiple farms. Why not, you know? More money never hurts. Can we destroy this, please? Bam, 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 bam. He was back in the business. Now, now we can go for the glorious charge moment once again. Now there is no more Isengard. Nobody can use rain to stop us. My ally is ready to rock and roll. And my Gimli is level 3 too. I want to jump on them so bad. Let's use extra first. Is this going to kill them? Ah, almost. It deals splash damage, but the target it hits first. Be careful. Eoma. 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 Eoma, man. Oslot of Rohan. Go for the structures, actually. Screw everything else. Go for the structures. This level 3 blacksmith so tanky. So tanky. Always aim for the heroes with your Legolas. It's gonna hurt him a lot. And we have crazy army here. The only way he can defend this, I believe, is with the level 5. He can only defend this with EOD. I'm gonna jump on him. Jump. Destroy the statue so he has no more leadership. You can't. GG. You can't. Oh, no, 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 no. Why did I have to say this? Yes, EOD. No way, dude. Oh, no. Aragorn, fight them. I'm a Sildus heir. Fight for me, or I will kill you. You think you got me? I have healing. Dude, look, Aragorn's damage. Hit Aragorn's damage. Look, watch Aragorn's damage. Pew, pew. This damage is hitting like a truck. Let's use Atelas too. Atelas? <gasps> I couldn't use Atelas. Now you are doomed, EOD. You will never be free. You will never be getting... This... I want to use this and then... Beal? I'm going back now. Just kidding. I'm going to use Arrowwind now. Because of our agreement. Use it. Chew, 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 chew. Go back now. Life... Well, 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 well. But to be honest, he has already EOD, so we can't feed him any more power points, which are relevant. Okay? That's the reason I'm doing this. And I have also lots of money, and I just want to have a little bit of a fun. And in order to show you my the amount of fun I want to have, you don't believe me that I want to have fun? You just, guys, should I prove it to you that it's all about fun for me? You want a, a improvement? I will show you. I will show you. Eowyn, the shield maiden of Rohan, and Eoma, the guy who inted for four times for no reason. Boromir level 9, by the way. We're level 9, by the way. Okay, I have a plan. Did you guys know that the Glorious Charge is also affecting the Vork Riders? Did you guys know this? If you didn't, you are about to find out, okay? You are about to find out. Grand Harvest, everywhere. I'm so rich now. I think I will be more rich than Isengard at the end of the game. I'm not sure though. Like, I think my Isengard ally has also lots of money, but I might have even more than him. Now I have two castles and two outposts. Even though one outpost has only wells and statue in it. But I think with the Grand Harvest and this double castle, 
plus outpost with like three farms we should be super rich master the rohirrim Yeah, the sun rises. He's using the cloud break because we fed him a lot of power points. Now at this point, he has unlocked every single power point from the spell book. But good for us, he can't have more than he has the potential to unlock. So now the glorious charge is gonna be on Kulan very soon. We have like a huge army. Watch the Valk Riders plus the Rohirrim, the Wombo Combo baby. You know the union of Saruman plus Theorin King. This is the most hilarious thing ever. Watch this. Watch the combination. Watch the combination. Bring all of your army, my friend. Bring all of your army. This is gonna be crazy. Watch this. Watch this. Get everything. Borg uh, <laughs> riders with the glorious charge. Charge, 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 charge. He's closing the gate, dude. You have like triple broken walls. Why are you closing the gate for? Oh, guys, watch this. I'm gonna use the end summon. Watch this. And you think your archers are safe there? I'm gonna throw rocks on their face, bro. They're a rock. They're a rock. They're a rock, rock, rock. Just go for the structures, man. Look this. Look this rock. Look this rock damage. Pew! Killing a whole battalion. Oh, he, my ally killed both the eagles with one fireball, by the way. Just go for the structures. Yeah, GG, well played. Nice. It was actually best of three, and we won 2 0. We are advancing in the uh, 2 2 tournament into the next round. I hope you guys enjoyed this series. If you did, you know what to do. Hopefully, I will see you all in the next video. Until then, take care of yourself. Keep hitting like a truck, and as always, stay beyond standards. But first of all, check the money from Rohan. Who says Rohan is poor? 90,000 in the bank. That's what I do. That's what I do.